Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today we're going to learn about a very soft and vertebrate animal. The mollusks. There are many different types of mollusks and all are very different. Some are really small, measuring only a few centimeters, such as clams. Others are enormous and can measure up to 20 meters, like this giant squid. He is larger than a truck. Even though mollusks are very different from each other, they all have common characteristics, which we must learn. They have a soft body, an extremely soft body, and some protect their bodies with shells, such as this mussel. And some designed to stay naked, such as a slug. Aquatic mollusks breathe through their gills, like the octopus. But the terrestrial ones use their lungs, such as this quiet little snail. In respect to what they eat, some mollusks are herbivores, such as barnacles. Carnivores, like the squid. And omnivores, such as clams, who eat everything. Mollusks, as well as arthropods, are the most abundant invertebrate on our planet. There are so many of them, in order to study them better, they have been divided into three smaller subgroups. The gastropods, the bivalves, and the cephalopods. The gastropods are named as such because of their foot being inside their stomachs. In Greek, gastro means stomach and pod, feet. It's fascinating, isn't it? Gastropods have their eyes located on top of their tentacles. Some are in shells like the snail, and others don't have a shell, such as a slug. The bivalves have two shells which they can close very tightly, and like that they are able to protect their soft bodies. Mussels, osters, and clams all belong to this group. The cephalopods are named after their feet coming out of their head. Cephala means head and pod, as I mentioned before, is feet. It is so interesting, isn't it? The cephalopods use their tentacles to capture animals which they want to eat. All cephalopods live in the sea and some have internal shells, such as the squid. And others, like this slippery octopus, don't have a shell. Well, now we know a little bit more about mollusks. Now it's time to remind you that we must take care of nature as well as all living creatures. We should not dirty the seas nor the rivers and we must maintain the whole ecosystem clean. Please remember this, okay? Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hey friends! Have a look at these images. As you can see, these are sea urchins and starfish, which are very special animals known as echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrate animals that live in the sea, amongst the rocks, or on the seabed. Normally, they are fixed to the sea floor and move above it very slowly. They reproduce sexually, although sometimes they do it in a very curious way, which we will discuss in a later video. Echinoderms 
have very hard and rigid spots under their skin. In the case of sea urchins, these spots are covered in spikes that serve to defend themselves against predators. A curious thing about echinoderms is that as well as not having blood, they don't think much because, well, they don't have brains either. Do you feel like learning a little more about sea urchins and starfish? The majority of sea urchins are herbivores, and more than 950 species exist. These animals live for many years. In fact, the red sea urchin is one of the longest living animals on Earth, since it can live for up to 200 years. The body of the sea urchin is round, and their spikes, besides being used as protection, also serve to obtain food whilst they move. Starfish are carnivores, and there are more than 2,000 different species. Normally, they have five arms, although there are some that can have more than 40. Starfish are incredible animals. If they lose one of their arms, it grows back. But what is truly incredible is that the lost arm can grow into another starfish. Also, since starfish don't have fins, they move with the tentacles that you can see in the images, which are on the bottom parts of their bodies. The truth is that echinoderms are super fascinating invertebrate animals. Don't you think? The bad thing is that many are disappearing. The pollution of the sea and the seabed means they can no longer live in some places. If you ever dive and see sea urchins or starfish, observe them, but leave them alone. And if you find any plastic bottles, collect them so that you can recycle them as our beloved diver has done. If you do this, our planet and all living things will be very grateful to you. Bye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.